jeopardy. Will Canada step up? And can Canada step up to meet Europe's energy needs? And how is Germany dealing with the war on their doorstep? Let's find out. Joining me now is the German ambassador to Canada, Sabina Sparwasser. Uh, ambassador, always a pleasure to have you on the program. The chancellor obviously met the prime minister today in Germany. Energy is a key thing. Germany very dependent on Russian oil and gas. Germany canceled Nord Stream 2, <coughs> the uh, LNG pipeline. What does Germany need from Canada specifically in the short and medium term to try to help Germany and the EU wean itself off Russian energy? Yeah, thank you um, uh, for this question, Evan. Um, uh, indeed, uh, Germany, and not just Germany, um, it's um, a, a good part of Europe, is quite dependent on um, Russian energy. And um, we are determined in the light of this um, uh, horrible aggression against Ukraine, against its territorial integrity, to wean ourselves of that kind of dependency. So if you look now, uh, let's say 30% or so of European energy comes from Russia, um, we are uh, working very hard to um, diversify. So obviously Europe and Germany is trying very hard to find um, uh, different resources now in Qatar, in other parts of the world, in order to resplendish our reserves. Um, but um, also with huge um, impetus, we are now trying uh, to turn towards alternative energy forms. And we want to do this for two reasons, to wean ourselves of the dependency from Russia, but also to pursue our climate targets um, with the greatest energy possible. And so what we did today with Canada is um, we talked with Canada about um, energy that could be delivered from Canada in the medium term, but also, and that is probably the most important subject, how we can work together with Canada um, on um, alternative energy, namely hydrogen. Canada has the makings of being a huge power on hydrogen. Germany and Europe is going to be probably the biggest market in the world on hydrogen. And to bring those um, two very reliable and like-minded partners together makes absolute sense. Canada published a hydrogen strategy last year. It is years away, though. It's very nascent. It's very early. We only have one half-built LNG port, as you know, in Kitimat. There's none on the East Coast close to Europe. So these are, just to be clear here, these are, these are medium to long-term strategies. Is there anything in the short term, in the immediate moment, that Canada can do to help Germany and the EU from an energy perspective? Well, um, not uh, in. Uh, we are not sort of connected across the Atlantic uh, right now. We don't have any any kind of direct link where Canada could substitute. Um, uh, so uh, indeed, we're talking more about the the medium term. But you know what? That is very important because in the short term, we can diversify and we can re um, uh, take recourse to more traditional energies. That includes coal. It might even for Germany, that would be a big step, include nuclear. So we can replace for the right. short term, but it's the medium term uh, that we need to look at. And uh, the EU is putting out a um, strategy on doing that very, very fast in the next few years. And Germany has just put 220 billion uh, euros towards achieving mm -hmm. that target very quickly.